Service is senior to everything. Hey there, it's Eric J. Olson. Service is senior to selling is a phrase that I've picked up from our sales training through the Cardone University. And, you know, I follow Grant Cardone on social media and I've listened to him a lot and I've heard him say this before, but it's really never sunk in and it's never really applied to, well, I've never applied it, put it that way. I've never applied it to me and our company, but for whatever reason, when he said it the last couple of times through the sales training, I realized, you know what? It goes beyond selling. His phrase is selling is senior. I'm sorry, scratch that service service is senior to selling. Now here's what he means going into a sales situation. You should not go into it thinking you're going to sell the person at all costs. You are there to service them. You are there to give them information. You are there to help them. And you have to have a belief that what you sell is going to help this person in their business or their situation. If you don't believe that what you're selling is going to help them, then you need to stop selling them. Do not sell them, right? Because that's not going to help them. It's not going to service them. So then why are you doing it? You're doing them a disservice. Now, there's an assumption here based on that last statement. My assumption is my service won't help that person, but it should help a lot of people. If you don't believe that what you're selling is helping anybody that you sell it to, you've got a bigger problem on your hands. You need to rethink what it is that you're selling. So his statement is service is senior to selling, but I think it's actually service is senior to everything, right? Service is senior to, as an example, internal processes, internal politics. Service is senior to the product. We need to make sure that what we're doing here serves a purpose and that our clients feel like they are being serviced. People will pay more for great service. And by the way, when I say, you know, service is senior to everything, I'm not saying it's certainly, it's not senior to price. You have to justify your price because of the amazing service that you're giving them. So this doesn't mean discount or give away your product. It means make sure that you service people. So what are some ways that you could better service people? All right, people love concierge service. They love to feel special and they also love to feel like you love them. All right? People want to feel loved. And in business, what that means is they want to make sure that you feel like they are important. And how do you make sure that they feel like they are important? Well, you have to communicate with them. You have to give them information, even if they haven't asked for it. And I'm not saying drown them in information. I am not saying that, but I'm saying regularly communicate with people, right? Get in the habit of picking up the phone and calling your clients, get in the habit of sending them a status update, even though they didn't ask for it. I was just having a conversation today with Eric Thomas, the president of rival digital. And we were talking about updating clients and how most of the times, like when we send updates to clients, they don't even respond, you know, but if we don't send an update, if we don't give them an update for like three or four days, they call us and they want to know what's going on, right? So we may not be getting like a feedback loop from our clients every time that we send them an update and tell them like what we did in the last week or what the status is of their onboarding project. They may not have any feedback, but it's important to them. And if they don't get it, they start to question, what are these people doing? What have you done for me lately? So like communication is extremely important and communication is one of the main ways that you service your clients. Of course, you have to have a great product. Of course, it has to be of value to them. I'm not saying cheap, it has to be a value, but you have to service them. And the servicing almost always comes from great communication and communication is almost always the problem. Fix your communication and you will likely fix your servicing of clients. Hey there, it's Eric J. Olson. I wanted to let you know about my book, Million Dollar Journey, how to launch a seven-figure business. This is the story of what it took for me to go from freelancer with no clients, no employees, no revenue, to growing a million-dollar business. It took me eight years, and I made a lot of mistakes. And all of those mistakes 
And more importantly, lessons learned are in this book. And we have chapter takeaways, five to 15 takeaways that you could apply right now to your business. Check it out on Amazon, Million Dollar Journey by me, Eric J. Olson.